I've seen a lot of videos um, on the Android Bluetooth scanner and uh, I decided to go ahead and pick up one and I see there's a lot of videos about how to set it up um, on an Android device and I have a Google Nexus 7 um, since there's so many videos on how to get it working I thought I would skip that and show you what it can actually do for you on the car and I'm working on a car today that set a code P0171 which is um, bank one oxygen sensor lean um, and I found a vacuum leak but what I wanted to show you was that on the torque program you can run a test on the oxygen sensors and you can see that I had confirmed a problem with one of the sensors I hope this can come up in the in the video and let me show you how to run that test let me do one more shot at showing you how the graph works for tracking oxygen sensors and you go ahead uh, from your torque application you select graphing um, these two green lines you have to set data points for X and Y axis for the graph and I'm going to select um, a fuel rate per minute and then the Y axis is the sensors that we're going to pick and let's go to these are generally in alphabetical order so we're looking for oxygen sensor There we go, here's the oxygen sensor section. I'm just going to pick um, bank 2 sensor 2. Uh, for the graph type, I'm going to pick a line graph or a line chart. And then we're going to hit OK. Then we're going to hit the start logging button. OK, and now what we're seeing here on the graph is the oxygen sensor voltage in real time and you can see on this side is our voltage in millivolts and what we're looking at uh, we're look, we want to see O2 cross counts and basically this line right here is about 500 millivolts and you want to see the line go above 500 and below 500 and the amount of times it goes above and below is considered O2 cross counts and a healthy oxygen sensor will go above 500 and below 500 in about the same rate. A oxygen sensor that is not functioning properly will stay fixed either below or above uh, the 500 millivolt mark and this can help you identify problems. But I just wanted you to see some of the advanced features um, that are available in the Torque application and this is on my Android tablet running Jelly Bean 4.2 and the two areas that are often overlooked are the graphing and the test um, results area. Test results, you just go ahead and click that. Of course it's going to make me a liar. There we go. And it will go ahead and run standard tests um, for oxygen sensor voltage and basically the information that we saw on the graph is relayed right here. Um, basically the green uh, means good and if you have a sensor that fails the test uh, you will see that result in red and earlier I had a problem but that has been repaired okay thank you for watching and I hope you can use some of these advanced functions from the torque application